having um, experienced January 6th, I think there was a bit of doom scrolling um, of all of the social media and the videos that were out there. And I think that's when I realized that um, Officer Hodges was, was holding that door at great personal sacrifice at the exact moment when we were, we were fleeing that, that hallway. I think most of the times that we interact is um, through the January 6th work. And I think we almost always get a chance to say hello or during those hearings. I testified a year ago um, and the investigation is ongoing. The, um, the big players are still out there, but no, no closure yet. And I'm looking forward to the day when I can say there is. Still waiting for that accountability, both uh, from the Justice Department and um, from the American people. I believe that people should um, should pay for uh, and be, be held accountable for their crime. We also have to recognize that uh, the president preyed on these people's patriotism. We're going to walk down to the Capitol. And for that, he is accountable too. Donald Trump, a great deal of responsibility lays with him, but he's, you know, he's a symptom of, um, of the mindset that enabled these, what happened that day. Yeah, I actually remember the journalist who caught it because when I got up to the front of the tunnel and I saw this guy, but I saw his like press, press uh, badge and I was like, all right, I should probably leave that guy alone. And I'm glad I did because he took this video. And the video itself, it's, it's, it's kind of embarrassing because, you know, you don't want your, uh, your 15 minutes of fame to be crying for help. You, especially if you're a big, tough police officer, you want to be like this Iwo Jima moment. But, um, at the same time, you know, I'm glad, I'm glad that the video got out there and people saw it because people had a very visceral reaction to it, and it really demonstrated the uh, how dire the situation was in a way that text and sometimes even images doesn't convey effectively. The ultimate victory will be when we can look at the country and say, "Yeah, there's no way this is going to happen again, and we're not there yet."